Hello again, welcome back. back for another walk we are and we're in brilliant Bracknell. Bracknell in Berkshire. Quite a big town by all accounts. Um, I've not been here before. Um, I think I've been through it but not actually into it. So we're going to take a walk into the town centre and have a look about. So we're just outside the train station now. It's Southwestern Trains I think. Now as I say it's a kind of new town Bracknell, or newish. I don't actually know a lot about it but I was in the vicinity and I thought I'd come and have a look. Top of the station there which I quite like, we'll have to have a look at that. Looks pretty good. Right, we'll cross over. Now it's quite a built up area, I'm not sure what it was built, was it the 70s or 80s? Uh, not the actual town but all the, the modern infrastructure. Someone will know probably. But uh, we should go and have a look at it anyway. Now it's currently a, a Saturday afternoon, so I presume it's going to be pretty busy. It's about a week before Christmas as well, so I imagine it'll be quite busy in the shops. We'll soon find out. Kind of looks like it's all sort of one way. A lot of these towns are Bracknell, Maidenhead. Um, these ones were sort of built in the 60s, I think. Is it late 60s or 70s? But anyway, they've all got much the same kind of design, town planning. It does flow, it makes the traffic flow, which I think was the idea behind it. But if you take the wrong turn and you're not from the area, it can be a bit of a nightmare. Driving around in circles. A bit like Reading. Also in Berkshire, another one I'll do if you get caught caught around there and you're not familiar with it, which I did once. But anyway, first impressions is pretty built up, that's for sure. Steady flow of cars coming in. A bit of boxing glove there. The ring. Don't have any famous people trained here. Rocky Marciano, I recognised him, Muhammad Ali, looks like for Joe Frazier, the couch, live music venue. Oh. Which direction, left or right? More people coming from the left. It's more of a car park, this end. We're going to cut this end. Yeah, it looks like there's more people up here. I think maybe there's a car park back there they're all heading to. Yeah. Now, I did drive here myself today, but I didn't park in the town centre because I thought it might be a bit of hassle trying to park up, so I parked it away a little bit and walked in. It's busy enough anyway. I can smell all the food as well, it's making me hungry. I haven't had my lunch yet. Motorbike park there. Very squidness from the giggling squid. Ah, we've got a Christmas market, we'll have a look up here. It's looking pretty busy as well. Oh, Donald's moonshine. Well, it's been very busy, but it was a Saturday afternoon, so... Well, as always on these walks, we come across a lot of um, barber shops, so we're going to count them. Now, we've just come past one back there, so we've got another one, Forest Barbers, but it looks like it's closed. But, up further here, it looks like we've got another one. So I don't know if that's closed, that one, or they're just opening it. I'm not sure what's up here. Is this the uh, car park? Barclays Bank? 
couple of banks and uh, what was up here? Bracken Walk. Not sure what's up here, we'll have a look. The old post office building. You are here. No, it just leads out of the town so we'll, we'll head back. But before we have a look at the old post office building though. Nice, I like it. Even though it's closed and no one in it. Anyway, we'll head back to the market. Seems to be where all the banks are up this end, which is handy, keep them all in one place. But walking down a hill does look pretty nice, it has to, say, has to be said. I wonder if you could drive through here at one stage. Possibly. It's great all these Christmas markets I've been walking to, but the only problem is you get you can get a copyright strike with the Christmas music, so you have to mute it or chop it out later. So. Let's go. Yeah, it's very busy. Look up this end. Bracken Walk. See some more stalls up here as well. Looks like it's more of a fruit and veg up here. Yeah. So, as you can see, very busy <coughs> here on a Saturday afternoon. Prince Centre's here, Princess Square is one of them, I've heard about. <coughs> so, we're going to have a look through there as well. I think there's another one over the other side, I think I've noticed. So we'll have a look through these now. <coughs> the Ukraine community hub over there. They must have resettled a lot of them here when the war broke out. I did notice a couple of them speaking in, well I thought it was Russian but probably is Ukrainian. <coughs> the glow room and light hall. Ukrainian community. There it is. Shop number three. Well, I don't think there's much up here, so we'll turn back. It's bigger when you're coming than it is actually when you're in here. We'll have a quick look up, go up the, the escalator and have a look. Lexicon. <laughs> to the car park. Actually, I said there's a lot of barbers uh, springing up. There's a lot of these nail shops springing up as well. Well, there's not much up there, so we'll come back down again. Oh. 
I always liked doing that when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Little kids kind of got the, uh, <laughs> the down escalator. I remember doing that, trying to run as fast as you could. Right, so that's the Princess Centre anyway, we've had a quick look around. It's busy enough though. Like I say, a week before Christmas, this is the big... Well, another weekend. darker out here. I think it's uh, starting to rain a little bit as well. Right, we'll go straight across and have a look at the, um, the other one. The other shopping centre. Busy, busy. Everyone doing a roaring trade. Except the phone shops, funny enough. There's loads of them. More phone shops and barber shops, but there's less people in them. Well, I've never seen them queuing in Greg before, but they are on this one. Well, it's not a shopping centre, it's actually a shop, Joe Malone. Fennec. Fennec upstairs, is it? From a distance, it looked like a shopping centre, but I think it's kind of semi outside and uh, covered as well. Quite impressive, though. Quite big. Can't come past this without walking through it. Here. There's another bit down the side. That's where we started, Blues. Yes, yeah, so it's partially outside and partially undercover, which is quite handy because it is raining. Uh, a lack of a queue outside Nando's, but it's closed. We're normally queuing around the block in that place. Oh. It's just up there, isn't it? Right, well that's it. I think that's it. Probably um, more to it. Lexicon. We've done a tour of it. Quite impressive. I'm sure you'll agree. I didn't realise the Germans did chocolate. Belgian chocolate. Yorkshire pudding wraps. Oh, there you go. I can't have a stall with uh, German sausages and not have a giant Yorkshire pudding wrap. Carvery <laughs> rolls. Right, well, I think we've covered most of it, as I say. This must be the Lexton Centre. I thought it was a, an indoor place, but this must be it. Quite a fair size, I actually said. We've been down there. So, that's it. I think we'll end the walk there. And uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.